All right, everyone, welcome back into another props video. Give me a touch on the top prop bets on Prize Picks today for Taco Tuesday. That's right, it's profit day. We'll get into that, but first, I want to touch on a quick recap from yesterday. So, yesterday was another good day that we had uh, with the underdog bet of the day going three for three, which ended up meaning that we had four units of profit on the day. Now, these were the three best prop bets that we had between Prize Picks and underdog, and I called that out as such. But it made much more sense to run these out on underdog because they were overvaluing them a little bit more compared to prize picks. And I feel like I've made that pretty pretty clear as well. So like if you're someone that only plays on underdog, or sorry, if you're someone that only plays on prize picks, I hope you were using these ones. I feel I feel like I made that clear. But again, like if we should be betting on multiple sites, if you guys have access to that, make the best bets possible each day. And that's the point I want to drive home is that a lot of the times each site is going to value props slightly in a different manner and we can gain an edge by simply <laughs> placing the best prop bets on each site and so yesterday that was more so an underdog but it was nice to see the three best prop bets end up hitting but i also feel like it's worthwhile to like kind of note that like this was the first bet that i made on the day yesterday but once the underdog lines were released i'm like okay we're seeing we have a bigger edge on underdog now with these lines let's just bet those there if that makes sense i think it does but today guys we are getting a pretty healthy board which i am excited for and so with that let's just go ahead and jump into the best MLB prop bets that we are currently getting. And so right now it does seem like we are getting some pretty darn good edges for some uh, hitter fantasy score props again. So we got Lu Luis for over fantasy score of 6.5. We can see the average sportsbook line is valuing him closer at 8.4. So that is seemingly a good edge that we're getting. The projection data would also have it set at 7.5. So that's a good edge that we are getting. Uh, De La Cruz for under his fantasy score. Now this is another situation like yesterday where we are going to see probably a better bet to just bet on underdog rather than on prize picks, but it is taco Tuesday. So we do want to be putting our best foot forward. Um, and so the calculation is a little bit different. I would actually say that for De La Cruz, the hitter fantasy score should probably be higher than it is on underdog because steals are valued a little bit higher than are than they are on prize or on underdog. So on underdog, this line does seem to be too high. I think that's a better bet there. So that's why I'd rather bet it. Um, again, it's just all about making the best decisions possible. So, you know, for the bet of the day, I think we can just put him in there for lower and hope that he doesn't get a steal. Uh, from there, we're seeing Mike, Mike Trout for under his fantasy score on both sites is going to be one that's popping up. Um, we got Rauschman for under his fantasy score. So the issue here is that we are seemingly getting like too many good prop bets these days uh, to the point where it's tough to narrow them down. I have kind of been grouping them together in the sense that, all right, we got a couple of good over fantasy score prop bets. Let's run those out together, if that makes sense. And so I think that's kind of the route I want to go. Now, I will say um, this is such a good EV bet for Ronald Acuna Jr. to get over 1.5 bases, 56% uh, likelihood for him to get that over. Underdog has already bumped that up to two. The projection data likes the over. So that's a strange one that we are getting there as well. I'm, I'm a little bit surprised that that is still there as it sits right now. Like that is very shocking to me. And we look at the uh, fantasy score for him, hitting fantasy score. That's going to be the exact same because, well, in terms of like getting the, the edge for the over, because, well, it correlates together. If he's going to get two total bases, that, that increases the likelihood of getting his over fantasy score, even though it's at 10. Now, I did notice that we are getting some more pitcher fantasy score prop bets, and this has actually been kind of a nice spot. I'm really surprised that Price Picks has given us these props as early as they are because I, they typically come out with them a little bit later because, well, they are typically pretty nice edges. Today, that's not the case, though. Today, the lines that we are getting are seemingly correct. Now, I will say between, um, like, comparing the lines between underdog and prize picks for pitching fantasy score, don't do that. They are calculated pretty differently, so I, I wouldn't say do that, uh, but I did want to call it that we really aren't getting uh, edges there. I mean, if you guys like some of these, I wanted to call them out for you, but all about 53% likelihood to hit, so that's not enough for me to really go in on those. Uh, let's jump into some other sports. So right now, the board that we are getting for NBA, I would say it's kind of correct based off of the news that we have right now uh, Middleton's line is bumped up to the point where it should be um, I will say be on the lookout for the Bucks lines today um, with the alert outs like you could see Portis be a little bit undervalued he's someone that'll get a little bit more run Middleton's fantasy score could be a little bit lower as well so uh, I'll give the bet of the day today you know, mostly geared towards, well, we'll ha we have a lot of great fantasy score prop bets for MLB. So we'll be able to use that throughout the day with the tacos. But if you guys are a nine to five member, just be on the lookout for the fantasy score props for NBA, because that I think there's going to be some good edges today. We just don't have them right now. So I don't want to speculate on what lines we could get out there when we are already getting some pretty good lines for MLB today. Let's jump into some college basketball because we do have some college basketball today. I believe it's the NIT college 
championship is on uh indiana state i believe is playing uh so we're gonna see like some okay prop bets here now this one the data doesn't like the over with uh dj horn obviously that's uh for march madness could bet the under there zach he could bet the under there i don't know if i exactly want to do that so this is kind of my long way of saying college basketball the board is pretty tight so we don't need to go on on those as well uh unfortunately we're not getting any prize picks golf props just yet nhl board kind of sucks so let's go ahead and get into the discrepancies tab seeing if we're getting any more prop bets there and, and not really in terms of like good discrepancies uh prop board wise dota 2 if you want to bet the under for slate and money whatever 11 map one and two kills it's a decent prop line difference but again i don't feel like we need to go there today uh so with that let's go and get into the top prop bets for mlb today as it sits right now all right so these are currently the six best prop bets that we have on the board today so we got three good over fantasy score prop bets um we're seeing that in compared to underdog this one's being a little bit undervalued on prize picks so you know feel pretty good about these prop bets i will say the one that i'm most worried about and i probably shouldn't be it's christian yelts just because he's been on a hot streak but that's also probably why the data is favoring the under as much as they are because he has been on this hot stretch that's eventually going to regress back to more of a mean now i know it's early in the season and baseball there's a lot of hot streaks and you can chase that but really for the most part feel pretty good about these these bets that we are getting do hope that we get some more nba bets uh you know fantasy score prop bets throughout the day again if you guys want access to those head on over to 95 sports.com available for ten dollars a month and i do hope that as the day progresses we do get some good pga props as well i already touched on some on my nine to five golf youtube channel for underdog but prize picks i want to be able to compare the the two lines that we're getting for that sport there now i do real quickly want to show you guys an underdog bet slip as well and so i do want to call it that for underdog purposes we are getting some good college basketball lines a lot of good under fantasy score prop bets today so if you guys want to run those out with the bet of the day you certainly can i'm going to be using these top two to make it a three slip bet and so this will be the underdog by the day now i do want to call it i don't know anything about these two teams that are playing in the championship here with utah and indy state I, or indiana state i should say like i haven't been following that along i don't know if these are good bets on paper well they are good bets on paper but i don't know if i would agree with these bets uh but still Day is telling us to run the under. Let's run the under there. So those are the three underdog bets as well. If you guys want to use the underdog slip and you guys have never signed up for underdog before, use promo code 9 to 5. That does help kick back some money to the channel. That's going to be all for today's video. Again, I do think that we're going to get better NBA bets, hopefully some more college bets, hopefully some PGA prop bets as the day progresses. But thankfully, we are getting some great MLB prop bets as it sits right now. That's going to be all for today's video. Make sure to give a like and subscribe. Let's have a good day. And as always, let's keep cashing.